Hey guys. <laughs> Anyways, that was from my friend Peyton. She made a request that my cat be in the video so she can see how big she's getting. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I did not film an intro for this video and sorry the background so dark. I really haven't figured out filming at night nor do I feel like really dealing with it just for an intro. So um, in today's video, I just did my nails. I actually already have them changed because this video is a little bit old, but this is just my natural nail care. Oh my God, why is this such a tongue twister? Natural nail care. <laughs> natural <laughs> nail care routine. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I tried to make it nice and relaxing and like do my soothing voice with some lo-fi hip hop because that's what you guys answered on Instagram, which by the way is this. I ask a lot of questions about how I do my videos on there. So if you want to participate, that always be good. And yeah, let's just get into the video. Okay, so I'm just starting off with my old manicure and I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off. But these are all the products you'll need. So a nice little montage, you know, just the basic nail tools. And then I'm using OPI, that's my favorite nail polish, um, Sally Hansen nail oil. And then I have coconut oil to moisturize my hands. And this cuticle eliminator, which I'll have everything linked down below is also really good. And then just acetone nail polish remover. So the first step is just going in and removing all that old polish. Then I just like to go in with this cuticle eliminator that I got from Sally's. Um, this one's really good, just don't leave it on for too long because it works a little too good and can kind of start to burn. So I leave it on for about 45 seconds and then I push the cuticles down and then I wash it off. So here I'm just taking this um, wooden cuticle pusher back thing. I don't really know what they're called, but it's got one flat side, which I use first to just push all my cuticles down. And then I take the pointed side and I kind of lift the cuticles a little bit just so that they're easier to trim. I also use the pointed side to clean underneath my nails. All right, so just wash your hands after that. And now I'm taking my crystal nail file. I used to hate the sound of these when I was growing up and refused to use them because it was like nails on a chalkboard to me. But now I like them a lot. So um, all I really do, my nails are already pretty much shaped unless I have a break, which hasn't happened yet. But um, I just file down the sides to continue the kind of oval shape that I have going on and fix any chips or anything of that nature.
Alright, so the next step is to just trim off all that dead skin. I find this part really satisfying. <laughs> All right, so here's my nails all prepped and ready to go. So now I just need to dehydrate them. So I just use the acetone for that. Um, I have really oily nails and this step really helps my nail polish last longer. So for my base coat, I just use the OPI Nail Envy, um, the strengthening polish. And I also use that as my top coat. Um, I really have found that this has helped a lot with my nail growth and has really helped with the strength as well. All right, so now I'm just going in with my color um, from OPI. It's just a really natural nude and yeah. So I'm just taking this tiny little detail brush that I got in a nail kit um, a really long time ago, but you can use any brush that's just small enough to kind of get in the crevice of your nails. And I just dip it in the nail polish remover and clean up any messes that I make. Um, doesn't happen on every nail, but on the occasion it does, it helps a lot with the cleanup. All right, so this is just actually a little trick I learned from Simply Nail Logical, and it's always wait 10 minutes between each coat of nail polish. Um, this is obviously only for normal nail polish, not gel or anything of that nature. Oh, there's a little gertie paw. <laughs> um, but yeah, just 10 minutes between each coat, and that really helps the drying time speed up and um, helps not get any air bubbles or anything of that nature. All right, and then just for my top coat, again, I'm going in with the OPI Nail Strengthener. Um, this one's really shiny and it helps my nails stay really hard. And I haven't had a break since using this. And this is the longest my nails have ever been naturally. So I'm pretty proud of them.
All right, and then I'm just going in with my nail oil. Um, this one's from Sally Hansen. I just really like that it has a brush applicator. Um, I find that the easiest way to put it on. I don't like to really rub it in. I just like to dab it on and go, so. All right, and then I'm just checking to make sure I didn't mess anything up. They look pretty good. Another handy trick I actually have, if you happen to ding your nails while they're still wet, you can lick your fingernail and it will smooth out the polish without messing up the nail. Um, it tastes a little gross and I'm sure it's probably not good for your health in the long run, but it's just a little tip I picked up a long time ago and it's worked a lot for me. Um, lastly, I just like to go in and moisturize my hands, so I use a bit of rosehip oil and this hand cream. All right, so here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it super relaxing. Let me know if you want more videos like this because I actually really enjoyed editing this one. I always like videos where I can do voiceovers. They're just more relaxing, I guess. But I'll see you guys next time and thanks so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>